This guy is something else. Oh my goodness. So y'all know how much I loathe Gavin Newsom. Y'all know how much I would say most Californians loathe Gavin Newsom. That we were this close into getting this man recalled. That's how much we can't stand this man Gavin Newsom. And thanks to Larry Elder, this man's going to be here till 2027. That's what we have to deal with. We were so close to getting him out of here. So y'all remember the whole ruckus, okay, the debacle of the California uh, 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 Legislative Black Caucus, all right? Y'all know when, when it came to the reparations bill, how everyone was like, okay, let's get the reparations bill going. Let's, let's do this. Let's bring this. Let's get a vote. And these absolute sambos in the Black Caucus didn't even get it to the vote. All right. They actually took it off of the, the, the register, which they weren't even allowed to do. The only person who was allowed to do that was, uh, I forget his name, uh, Stephen Bradford, who was uh, the, the author of the bill. So they completely broke policy just to silence the bill. Everyone except Bradford needs to go. Bye bye. See you later. Absolute uh, uh, just a coon fest was going on. And the reason why they killed the bill is that they cited Gavin Newsom. That's what that's what Bradford said. He said that he was afraid. They were afraid that uh, uh, Newsom was going to veto the bill. We should have gotten it to the governor's desk. He never signaled he would veto the bill. He just said he had some concerns as they have with many bills. So but that doesn't mean you don't move forward with the bills because, you know, you can fix them. Then the chair of the Black Caucus talking about that's not true. We didn't have anything to do with Newsom of uh, vetoing the bill and we just need more time. And got got it. Bull crap. Right. Then we get <laughs> Gavin Newsom, who does a conference. Someone asked a question, you know, what happened to the bill? Why did you kill the bill? And he goes on and says, well, I didn't talk to anyone directly, okay? You know how these things work, you know, with the administration. Very condescending. He's such a condescending prick. That's what Gavin Newsom is. He's just a piece, new scum. That's what he is. At this press conference, Newsom denied rumors he threatened to veto the two bills if they were to be taken up for a vote and reach his desk. He says the Black Caucus's decision not to take up the bills had nothing to do with him. I didn't talk directly to anyone about those two bills. That great respect in admiration for the leadership of the Black Caucus and members of the Black Caucus. Absolute foolishness. Nobody said you directly talked with anybody, but you or your administration, right, which represents you, it's the same thing, fam. If someone, if, if, if I have a manager and my manager said he's not doing that, did, bro, it's the same thing. I relate to my manager, that's what I'm not gonna do. Your administration, those you have in your positions who, who, who represent you and your authority, told them, hey, don't we're not we're not going to do this. OK, make it make it more of a study than actual reparations. That's what he said. And that's why they didn't even bring it to the floor. Let's think this through. They didn't bring that to the floor because they were fear of veto. We have another bill, another bill that Bradford uh, put out talking about essentially eminent domain land that was stolen from black people due to racism, due to them just, hey, we don't like your black butt being here. We're going to take the property. That's what the bill was. It was going to be giving back stolen land, stolen property, things that weren't yours that the government stole. Do you want to know what this POS new scum did? He vetoed the bill, citing, well, this wasn't a part of the budget. We hadn't come across it in the budget, yada, yada budget. OK, now <laughs> he vetoes the bill. Now, you explain to me. Why the, the, the Black Caucus, the California Black Caucus, couldn't put forward Bradford's bill for reparations and let Newscom veto the bill. He vetoed this one, okay? You tell me what was stopping them, huh? Well, they were afraid it was gonna be vetoed. He vetoed that bill. He vetoed that bill. This is, bro, these people have gotta get a spy, all right? The, we, we either have to get a spy or we become extinct. It is that simple. I've told you all this before when it comes to political extinction. All right, this is our last year. It's really last year, it's game over, okay? If you are, we put you in there as Congressional Black Caucus, California Black Caucus, then you have got to represent us. It cannot be about the money, it cannot be about climbing the ranks, it has gotta be about us. You had one of these fools, this bald-headed clown, talking about, well, I want to bring us all together and we got to uh, uh, come together and I want to break up people and everything. I forgot his name. He's on the Black Caucus. Fool. 
just absolute fools on the caucus and they got to go. They, it's done. It's as simple as that. They have to go. But in order for them to go, we have to have people to run against them. We have to we have to primary these people. That's why I keep telling people like, yo, I'm all for voting them out, but we got to replace them with something. I want to bring this up because I think this is this this is so so evil, so wicked. And what makes this truly evil and wicked is not him vetoing the bill, right? It's the fact that this man signed into AB 2867. And that bill, you want to know what that bill does? It essentially is the same bill that Bradford brought up, but to a lesser degree. It's a bill that gives back stolen property, okay, artwork and thing like things of that nature that was stolen during the Holocaust back to the Jews. I kid you not. This man not only signed it, but he signed it at the Holocaust Museum in here, uh, in here in LA. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I really don't know what to tell you. Okay, you're gonna veto that bill, but then sign that sign that bill. Is that what you tell me? You gonna sign that bill? Hmm. You're not gonna cite budget or anything like that. Of oh well, well I, we had how the much money is gonna take to review whether it's actually theirs. You know, look into the data. You know, but, but, really? Hmm. This is just this is just wild. It's just blatant disrespect. Blatant disrespect. You veto that one, give them back as far as stolen property, and then you sign that one. What what's what's really the difference? It's because I don't have a little small hat, right? I got the wrong hat on, Gavin Newsom. Is that what it is? I need to go get the small the smaller version. Okay, I can do it. All right. What do we what do we need to do in order to get this bill passed? Hmm? You tell me. It seems what's happening on a smaller scale is happening on a bigger scale, okay? Now, I, I can't stand Kunis Owens, but it seems, you know, a broken clock is right, you know, two times out of the day. So, I, I, I'm just saying, this is, uh, this is quite telling and very, very interesting. Anyways, guys, that's a video. I don't know where you disagree with here. What are you disagreeing with, huh? You tell me he can veto that bill and then sign the other? Well, Lucas, Lucas, it's not property. It's not like land. It's way easier to do as far as artwork that was stolen during the Holocaust as opposed to eminent domain that was stolen by the government. You tell me that that's easier to track, that's easier to trace than government stealing property, eminent domain, which we know is, is definitely got some documents and some paper trails. That's what Ooh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Bring the rapture, Lord. Bring the rapture. I, I need to get out of here, bro. I'm way overdue. Anyways, if you happen to disagree, I don't know why. Uh, maybe you're a coon. Uh, <laughs> you can call in Friday through Sunday, disagreement day. You call in. We duke it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And subscribe. And oh, uh, that fun stuff. It is, it's the fun stuff is really not so much fun. Uh, until next time, guys. Stay amazing. Everyone except Bradford needs to go.